From Washington, this is VOA News. A top UN chief arrives in Cairo for talks, and former Pakistani President Musharraf is charged with murder. I'm David Byrd reporting from Washington. The UN's political affairs chief, Jeffrey Feltman, is in Cairo for talks aimed at ending the deadly political crisis that has polarized the country and left more than 1,000 people dead. Feltman arrived in the Egyptian capital Tuesday on a three-day mission described as a push to restore peace and forge reconciliation. He is expected to confer with government officials and leaders of the embattled Muslim Brotherhood. Feltman's arrival came just hours after Egypt's interim military government detained the Brotherhood's spiritual leader, Mohamed Badia. Meanwhile, President Barack Obama held a cabinet-level meeting Tuesday as part of an ongoing review of U.S. aid to Egypt. As VOA's Kent Klein reports, White House officials are considering possible responses to the Egyptian interim government's violent crackdown on protesters. White House spokesman Josh Earnest denied media reports that the administration has decided to cut off some or all U.S. aid to Egypt. He said the White House review of its policy continues. The White House review has been underway since the Egyptian military, led by General Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, deposed democratically elected President Mohamed Morsi, who had been moving away from democracy. Morsi remains in custody, and almost 1,000 people have died in recent days, with the interim military government targeting Islamist demonstrations. The administration is looking for a way to express its disapproval of the violence in Egypt without further losing influence with the country's leaders. If the U.S. suspends aid to Egypt, Saudi Arabia and other Arab neighbors have pledged to fill the void. Kent Klein, VOA News the White House. For more on the situation in Egypt, please log on to our website, voanews.com. A Pakistani court has formally has charged former military ruler Pervez Musharraf with murder in connection with the 2007 assassination of opposition leader and former Prime Minister Benazir Bhutto. As Ayaz Ghul reports from Islamabad, the former Pakistani president pleaded not guilty. The court hearing took place amid extremely tight security in the garrison city of Rawalpindi, where the powerful military is headquartered. Journalists were not allowed in the courtroom for a hearing that lasted just 20 minutes. Prosecutor Chaudhry Mohammad Azhar says former President Musharraf was personally present in the court when the judge read out charges to him. He told VOA the former army chief has been charged with murder, conspiracy to murder and facilitating the crime. This is the first time that a former army chief has been charged with a crime in Pakistan where the top military leadership until now has been considered untouchable by the courts. Ayaz Gul for VOA News, Islamabad. Lawyers for Brazilian David Miranda have started legal action against the British government in an effort to assure that officials do not share his seized material with anyone else. Miranda is the partner of The Guardian newspaper's Glenn Greenwald, who was held for questioning for nearly nine hours on Sunday after being detained while passing through Heathrow Airport on his way to Rio de Janeiro. Miranda's lawyer said Tuesday his detention was unlawful. London's Metropolitan Police Service says that the use of an anti-terrorism law to detain and question Miranda was, quote, legally and procedurally sound. Meanwhile, Guardian editor Alan Rusbridger says that British agents oversaw the destruction of some of the newspaper's hard drives in a bid to keep leaked documents safe from Chinese spies. Uh, and yes, they came down to the basement with us uh, and they said you had to destroy this, this and this on a computer in order to make sure that it can never be read or recovered. Uh, and so we had this slightly bizarre scene where 
uh, under their instruction, we um, disabled the computers. Russ Bridger says a government official threatened to use legal action to force the newspaper to surrender the leaked documents if they failed to destroy them or hand them over. A U.S. military judge says she will impose sentence Wednesday on Army Private Bradley Manning. Manning was convicted of disclosing a vast collection of classified information to the anti-secrecy site WikiLeaks. And about 50 major fires are burning across 11 western U.S. states as firefighters scramble to battle flames threatening hundreds of businesses and homes. Authorities have evacuated thousands of people. For more on these stories, please visit voanews.com. I'm David Byrd in Washington.